I built this bike not to be the lightest titanium bike but to be one of the prettiest bikes that can be seen. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is part 3 of me weighing my bike. You can find part 1 of my Lightspeed Cherahella where I talked about the build and the weight in this pop up here and also part 2 of my Linsky Pro 29 which I went over in detail about the finish, um, the differences in titanium tubing in terms of uh, shapes and the weight and strength and a bunch of other upgrades and again the link should come up here now but today I'm going to go over this bike this is Linsky R500 um, in previous video I've done a walk around and talked briefly about the components and group set but instead of sending you back to that video I'm going to go over this build in detail as well as the, the additional upgrade that I've done recently then I'll put them on here and give you guys the number let's start from the ground up Tires are by Pirelli P0 tubeless in 28 millimeters. The rims are by Zip 454 NSW hubless, hookless, hookless. Hubs are also in-house by Zip. Uh, they call this their Cognition version 2 clutch system, something like that. Uh, 54 points of engagement and 24 bladed or aero spokes. I'll show you guys the ratchet free up sound test later at the end of the video. Moving on to the group set, I have SRAM Red Crank Set, 5037 50, chain ring, 172.5 crank arms with quark power meter. Um, my shoes have been eating the heck out of these crank arms here, so if you're wondering what these are for, they're just here to protect from scratches. 160 millimeters front and rear rotor, these are the, um, the older Dura Ace rotors. So, and then the rest of the group set are from SRAM Force. Shifters, brake calipers, front and rear derailleurs, with the exception of the upgraded ceramic speed oversized pulley wheels. I also use Force 1020 acre set, SRAM bottom, SRAM dub, I think it's dub, right? D-U-B, bottom bracket and chain with, uh, I think it's is is Flash 3 pedals. I don't exactly remember the name, but I'll, I will put the, the name up here. All right, let's talk about the components. I have a titanium seat post by Linsky. This is 300 millimeters in length, 27.2 in diameter, and with zero setback. Zero setback just means that the seat post is straight. It doesn't curve at the end. Saddle is by Specialized S-Works power, power Mirror with, uh, I think it's the oversized carbon fiber rails and the size of the saddle, the width is 143 millimeters. In terms of the cockpit setup, I use NV SES Aero Stem 100 millimeters with NV Stem computer mount. Um, this is just integrated right where uh, underneath the stem. And I also have my exposure light GoPro mount on here too. The reason I, I leave this on here is because it just uh, they're too hard to install on there. It, I think it's, it's really tight. So, but this is about 20 less than less than 30 grams so in case you're wondering and i also have um nv ses arrow handlebars in size 42 and they are wrapped with silka cusino bar tape and two titanium bottle cages are also by uh, from silka fork is by linsky with cane creek 40 series headset through axles are by robert axle project by the way, the RAP Robert Axle Project through Axle Mouthful. Um, they were additional upgrade as well. Originally, he came in with Linsky through Axle. Let me show you what that is. Okay, so these what came in with the bike and I cannot stand them. And that was after getting the hang of them. So I swapped these out right away. However, Linsky has commented in one of my videos where I talked about these axles and they said that they have upgraded all of their frames to RAP axles now. So I'll take that as good news. I ordered this frame maybe a little bit more than a year ago and this build took me about nine months to complete a lot of shortage at a time. So if you are, if you order your frame recently, chances are you'll get the rubber axles, but let me know, I'm curious. Let's talk about the frame. Um, in terms of the geometry, this is in size small. I actually wrote this down just for you guys. This is in size small, weighs 3.6 pounds. And let me use some of these numbers. Effective top tube at 53 centimeters, 
C2 angle 48 centimeter reach 37.8 centimeter stand over height 74.5 centimeter chain stay is 41.5 I'll have all of these numbers on the screen too and why am I telling you all these numbers well if you are in between sizes like I was and have no access to test riding one of these bikes well these are some of the critical numbers that that will kind of help uh, determine where you are sitting so whether you should be good at a small size or a medium size and there are more number more of these numbers on the website so if you need to go and check them out on Linsky website the frame is built with two different shapes uh, the rounded C2 seat stays and what do you call us chain stays are 3.25 titanium grade they flex more and more compliant in other words, they are they're heavier but more forgiving than the stiff top tube, top and bottom diamond shaped tubes here. These diamond tubes are done with 6.4 titanium grade and the difference, the main difference between 6.4 and 3.25 is weight to string ratio. Although the 6.4 is not very compliant, it is lighter, stiffer, but it is as strong as the 3.25. A couple upgrades on this frame let's see the edge graphics so instead of getting the standard black decals which are these letters here they're now printed in silver and that's kind of blending with the industrial mill finish on this frame and I also went with the silver titanium head badge so I want to finish talking about this frame with one last thing and in my opinion they they really changed the way titanium bikes look and that is the drop seat the drop seat stays aesthetic wise this is a 10 out of 10 for me it has this like combination of a retro with modern look modern design and i'm a big fan of that using old school material or old school um, or traditional material i should say with modern designs i haven't seen these drop seat stays in most titanium bike manufacturers which i seriously think they need to consider I'll stop here. I'll talk more about it in a different video where I review how this frame rides. All right, the last upgrade I made recently are these wheels. Prior to this, I was just seeing a set of these guys. They are NV Foundation 65. I'm still using them. I switch back and forth between the two sets, depends on where I ride. However, I do have to say that the Zip 454 are seriously light, especially when compared with now compared to the NV Foundation 65. I know some of you guys are interested in finding out what some of these wheel sets weighed after the rotors, the tires, the cassette, and cylinder being installed on them. I will have a separate video showing you just that. The link for that should come up here when I'm done. It should be quick, it shouldn't take me that, that long. I'll do that after I do this um, video here. So keep an eye out. I don't think I've left anything behind. If I did, or if you have any questions, Hit me up, comment, just let me know. Let's put him on the scale. All right, guys, looking at about 8,370 grams. It fluctuates between 8.34, 8.35. So I'm gonna call it 8.37. Um, I weighed this a few times ago earlier. So that is about 18 pounds, 10 ounces. So at this price point, to most people, this may be on the very heavy side on the scale. Um, is there anything I can do to shed some weight down this bike? Well, yes, I could probably drop somewhere between 200 to 300 grams by swapping out the cassette, the seat post, and the pedals. Do I want to do that? Mm, maybe with the pedals. And um, do I have to do that? Probably not. So, as a matter of fact, if I ever change the seat post to a carbon fiber seat post, it will change the look of this bike dramatically. And right now I am I'm pretty settled with how the bike looks so probably I'm just gonna keep everything as is with the exception again 
of the pedals maybe i will swap these out in the future all right guys so um hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and maybe learn a thing or two about um uh, titanium frame or titanium bike and if you enjoyed this kind of talk where i talk about titanium frames uh, titanium bikes in general and which i'm going to be spending a lot of t a lot more time in doing in the future so um consider following me here on youtube or on strava or something i don't by the way i climb pretty slow so um you should be all right i don't know hope you guys have a good day and see you in the next one